Texans are finished with the draft. Nick Casario has as well. And I give my draft grades coming up next, guys. Cue the intro. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Lead. Your host, as always, Harley Dugan. I'm going to be giving up my draft grade in just a minute, but overall, if anybody hasn't know that the Texans draft was uh, about all right, you know, so you waited 66 picks to get a quarterback and that was a little bit down, but then like a roller coaster of emotions like Houston sports is, it goes right back up and skyrockets because the Houston Texans make a splash and trade up for a guy in Nico Collins, who is an absolute stud. The guy improved every single year of his college years in Michigan. Then you go, don't have a fourth round pick. Okay, we're used to waiting. We're used to waiting as a Houston franchise. As a Houston fan base, we're used to waiting on things. You know what I mean? So, you know, we wait all the way to the fifth round to grab a tight end. And I wasn't that high on it. Now that I look at it and I think about it more, you know, the guy arguably is the second best tight end. You can even say the first best tight end if you want to say Kyle Pitts is more of a receiver. You can make the argument for Brevin Jordan, 6'2", 243, really good blocker and improving pass catcher, really solid. Then you go, you trade up again, not once, but twice, and get Garrett Wallow, a former safety converted linebacker, 6'2", 230 from TCU, who's a tackling machine has speed, and should be a special teams guy right out the get-go. Then you keep 195, you got rid of all the other, the two of the three six-round picks and a seventh-round pick. You got 195, stayed at it, and grabbed the defensive tackle and Roy Lopez, two-time wrestling champ. The guy's 6'2", 320 pounds, an absolute tank in the middle, can clog up the gaps. He just impossible to move, low center of gravity tough okay looks like a complete tough guy so overall the houston texans and nick casario i'm gonna give him a straight b just a straight 80 i wanted to say c plus i'm gonna say a straight 80 not because i'm not that high on davis mills i don't think his his ceiling seems high i just from what i'm seeing i want to be optimistic believe me fans and hey if if he can turn me around and make me eat my words, I'm happy because that means he becomes a good quarterback. I don't think Davis Mills is going to be nothing more but a backup quarterback, but who knows? A lot of people want to throw the trust for Pat Hamilton. I will too. Uh, I'm not going to give this Hall of Fame hype that Pep Hamilton has. I don't know why fans keep leaning on him as a Band-Aid for every t- any quarterback we can get. He's the Band-Aid to put over them. no. Okay, he could do a very good job, but let's not use him as some Hall of Fame positional coach. Like, he is not that. You got a guy in the 67 pick. Let's see what he can do. Hopefully, 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 even with the undrafted free agents, he only grabbed two offensive linemen, two wide receivers. Eh, you know, Texas A&M had really good offensive line, so I hear they're really solid. The wide receiver from Central Florida seems – very promising, another bigger body frame, the Nick Serio attack. So again, overall, 80 is what I'm giving them. I wanted to go high C plus. Again, quarterback, not what I'm liking. Tight end wasn't the position I was looking for, but I'm kind of excited that we got him just because of the value you got at the fifth round. And same thing with Mills. He was projected to be a second round quarterback. You got him in the third round. So yeah, some of that value that you grabbed in these later rounds is why I'm giving Nick Casario an 80. So that's it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for the notice to turn on, drop your comments, your reactions down below, drop your grades down below. What are you grading this NFL draft for the Houston Texans? It's the first one for Casario. He was shorthanded at that, and I thought he did a solid job of getting some players that have potential, that fill a few needs, and let's see what we can do this season, guys. I'm not expecting a lot, but I'm excited to watch. As always, guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. Yeah, have a blessed day.